Hey, this is Doug from MercsMetrics.com. If you caught my last video, then you know that I'm trying to switch from Adobe Illustrator over to Affinity Designer. The reason for that is that I want to save a lot of money by not paying for the Creative Cloud every month. Now, that means that I have to basically learn everything from scratch. <laughs> so in this first short video, I'm just going to go over how to set up a new project in Affinity, how to create some additional artboards, and make sure that we're using a transparent background. I'm going to launch Affinity right now, and we'll get started. All right, the first thing we need to do is launch Affinity Designer, so I'll go ahead and do that. It takes just a moment while it loads. And we can see this is a little bit different than Adobe Illustrator, but not that different. So we have this launch screen where we can create a new document and they have their advertisements here for us. So I'll go ahead and create a new document by clicking new document. And you can see that I've already been messing around in here and I've already started some designs. So uh, my page width and height are already entered. So if you hadn't done that already, um, you can create a preset. Uh, you can create um, basically any size you want. I've already entered here page width of 4500 by 5400, which are the pixel requirements for Merch by Amazon. I've also selected a DPI of 300 and made sure that the document units are in pixels, otherwise they, uh, they could be in inches, centimeters, millimeters, yards, feet, whatever, but that's not what we need for Merch by Amazon. From here, I just need to go ahead and click the Create button to create a new project. And you can see that we get one project. Um, I forgot a step though, and I'm going to show you just in case this happens how to go go back and fix it. So you can see that I already have a transparent background here on my one artboard, and I can tell that because of the checkered pattern in the background. But if I forgot to do that, if I created a document didn't have a transparent background and needed to fix it, here's how I do that. I go to File, Document Setup, and then make sure that I have a transparent background under, I think color there is a checkbox here for transparent background and you can see I can click that on uh, on or off um, I clicked it on it is um, it is not on by default so you will have to click that button if you want to have a transparent background now there is a way to export without a transparent background um, but it's a little more complicated because it fits the export to the size of the the image not to the size of the artboard and we need to make sure that we have the same size as the artboard as our um, total document size or else Merch by Amazon will not accept it. So I'll go ahead and click OK since I'm already on a transparent background. Now if you've watched any of my previous videos you know that I really like to do a lot of my designs at the same time, right? I want to have like eight or ten artboards, I want to do my research and then I want to create eight or ten artboard or eight or ten designs all in the same niche at the same time so here's how you do that in affinity now I'm gonna click the artboard tool here and you can see that at the top left hand corner now I have some new options and in those new options insert artboard is um, is one of them uh, you can change the size of the artboard but the default is to, to have it be the same size as the document you've already created which is what we want so we're gonna go ahead and make sure the document is selected and then click insert artboard now at this point we've got the artboard tool and uh, activated so at this point we could re uh, re resize or create new artboards by clicking and dragging now, that's not what we want we will go ahead and delete those what we want is now that we have this large canvas open with this gray background now we can use that insert artboard button again and we'll get additional artboards the exact same size as the one we started with so as you can see in my layers panel over here on the right, I have now seven artboards. Uh, we can zoom out a little bit further so we can see them all. I don't know how zoomed out you want to be if you're going to do seven. Um, we can also use the artboard tool. We should be able to, uh, oops, don't want a new one. I want to click one and then I want to move it. Let's see if we can move this thing. Yeah, okay, so in order to move it, I did have to switch from the artboard tool over to the direct selection tool or the move tool, uh, but now I can position these artboards wherever I want to, uh, which I like to stack them. I want to see a bunch of them at once. I want to kind of use the previous designs that I've created to um, to give myself ideas for a new one, uh, new designs, or, or slightly alter certain elements or copy certain elements that I've created on one artboard over to the other artboards. Um, I can go ahead and slit, select uh, between the artboards. I can also um, uh, in, inactivate them by using the checkboxes here so they can't be edited. 
Uh, so go ahead and going back to uh, my deluxe direct selection tool here or my move tool um, we can go ahead and start working on one of these um, R forts. Uh, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to show you how to get a new workspace set up and in one of my next videos we'll be going a little further. Uh, it's time to restart our research really uh, because I don't know where Merch by Amazon stands. It's been so long since I've done any designs because of the shutdown. So uh, stay tuned for the next video. If you found this entertaining or informative and you would like to see more videos like this go ahead and click subscribe down below and um, you know, hopefully I helped. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.